Hey Garcina here and welcome to another video. Today is the beginning of the reading rush and it's late afternoon and I finally got, got around to uh, being able to start the reading rush because uh, in the morning I was still reading another book that I have been reading previously and I did not want to put it down for a week so I decided to finish it and I'm really happy that I did because it was great and I'm just going to briefly mention it here because I'm going to talk about it in my wrap up and it's uh, Age of Legend by Michael G. Sullivan. This is the fourth book in the Final Empire series and it's it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. Um, I just really love these characters and what is happening to them and uh, the end is a bit, well, a cliffhanger <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to the next book and I'm not sure when it's coming out I would love it if it was this year but already two books came out this year so I doubted that another one is gonna be published this year <clears throat> but I have to check anyways this is just you know br me briefly mentioning a book that I read but uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go more in depth in my wrap up and today I'm gonna start two books for the reading rush the first one is uh, for the first challenge to read a book with something purple on the cover and that is Traitor to the Throne by Alvin, uh, Alvin Hamilton which is book two in her I don't know Rebel of the Sand series and I'm gonna be listening to this one predominantly uh, this is a young adult fantasy and trilogy about a girl who lives somewhere in the desert and her future is basically all planned out for her and she doesn't want to follow that plan so she rebels and uh joins this boy somehow i i forgot <laughs> it's been a while since i read the first book uh, but i'm still gonna dive into this one anyways uh, she goes on this adventure with this boy and they get into a bit of trouble and i want to see how the story continues and uh, this is going to be my audio the first audio book of this week hopefully not the last one and uh in physical format, I will be reading The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, which is another very popular sci-fi book, and I've had it for years, so I think it's time that I uh, tackle it. And this one is for the challenge of reading a book that has five or more words in the title, and this is one of the options. I also have another one, but um, I think I'm going to give this one a try. I have basically no clue what this one is about, except that... I guess people are traveling somewhere on a spaceship. Oh um, yeah, it's it's a very beloved book, and hopefully I will I like it just as much. So this is just me stating what I'm going to start reading, and now I have to dive into these books and actually do some reading. So until <clears throat> I have something to update you with, this is going to be it. So today's Tuesday, and uh, I'm here to update you a little bit. I started reading The Long Way to Small Angry Planet yesterday, and I just got a little bit into it because I kept falling asleep <laughs> not because of the book just i think it's the baby's fault honestly because i haven't been as sleepy as i am right now ever in my life i, I don't think so anyway so i um i started that one and so far so good i really can't say that i have formed an opinion about it yet but i liked it so far and i also picked up um i started listening to the traitor to the throne by elvin hamilton and uh um, I decided, well, I, I started listening yesterday and today I decided to actually read the recap of Rebel of the Sands because I'm quite lost. Uh, um, I know the gist of the story from Rebel of the Sands, but uh, I you know, don't remember the names of the characters and such. So uh, I figured that it's going to be helpful if I read a recap so I can actually be uh, aware of who's who. <laughs> and that would help, I think, because, uh, yeah, things are happening already and um, I want to be aware of what's even going on and who's involved and everything like that. So yeah. Uh, so right now I came uh, to a doctor's appointment and after that um, I'm going to be reading some more hopefully and I will be able to update you as to how that's going. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. Um, I'm liking it. I haven't made a lot of progress which saddens me but you know, one tries and that's the best we can do. Today is Wednesday and I am listening to The Traitor to the Throne by Alvin Hamilton and I'm not sure, I'm like 15 chapters in and I'm just not feeling it so I'm not sure how much further I'm going to actually listen to it uh, just, you know, to give it a try. I might, it might happen that I will DNF it which means that I will also probably not read, well obviously I'm not going to read the last book in a series that's Hero 
Um, I don't know what it is. But anyways, um, so, you know, I might have to change two books for my uh, Reading Rush TBR. Which, it's not too bad, but it's also not the best. But I'll give it, I think, another like five chapters and see whether or not I get into it. If I don't, I'm just gonna get rid of the whole series probably. But yeah, um, so far it's not looking good. So I have to report back that I did decide to actually push through the traitor uh, to the throne and I continued uh, listening to the story and um, I'm well, you know, I sort of I sort of fell back into it. Uh, it's not like it's not gonna be my favorite book ever, but it is an enjoyable one. We are following this um, character that we met in book one, uh, the, the female ma protagonist. And um, things are happening to her. She sort of, uh, uh, well, gets caught. And uh, she is sort of trying to get herself free. And uh, while she's doing that, she's also helping her cause. Or the cause that she's a part of. Anyways, and there's um, surprisingly a lot of people from her past connected to what's going on right now. Uh, which uh, surprised her and also me because... I did not remember them from the first book, obviously. It's been two or three years, I mean, since I read uh, Rebel of the Saints. Um, well, back when it came out, whenever that was. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but all in all, I'm enjoying it. I have uh, a couple more hours of listening to do. So, I'll probably finish it because I would like to finish it. It's already Wednesday. I would like to finish at least one book. Uh, so, I, I'm probably going to do that. And, uh, yeah. Um, quite, I'm quite pleased with my reading so far, although I didn't pick a physical book today, you know, I didn't even pick one up, uh, I was just doing other stuff and it's right now just, I came, you know, back home and it's just so freaking warm and humid and I'm actually dripping, it's, it's crazy, but I mean, I like, I love the summer, but still it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. I'm probably not gonna update to you any uh, about anything else today because you know I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow because I'm also gonna be tired and I'm gonna fall asleep and you know how it is. So yeah, mm, until tomorrow, I guess. So it's Thursday and uh, I am uh, looking forward to a new day of reading. Uh, reading Rush is still in progress and I do want to make a little bit of progress myself and I would like to finish two books today. The first one is uh, I'm going to try reading Martha Wells's or listening to Martha Wells's Artificial Conditions which is book two in her Murder Bot series and, um, and that is for the challenge of reading a book with a non-human main character which Murder Bot is not. It's I don't know an AI that it's trained for killing something like that. Uh, I think it's an AI or a robot. I, I don't know actually what a, what a murder bot is, but it's a murder bot. So yeah, I really liked the first book, uh, All Systems Red, uh, and I wanted, or actually I started listening to Artificial Conditions already uh, like a few months back, but I never finished it, so I think this is the perfect time to do that. It's a short uh, book, so I'm probably gonna go fly through it, and I also want to finish another um, challenge today, hopefully, and that is to read a book uh, in, all in one place. So for that I chose Jane Austen's Lady Susan. This has been on so many of my TBRs and I want to actually get through it. It's such a short one, so it's really embarrassing that I haven't read it yet. Uh, this is about a woman, who, well, Lady Susan, who is, I think she's quite annoying and the, the society doesn't necessarily really like her, uh, but you know, I guess I'll find out more once I read this thing. It's uh, all in uh, written in letter format, so it should be a quick read. Then, if I manage to finish those two, I will try to start listening to Hero at the Fall by Elvin Hamilton, which is book three, the last book in this Rebel of the Saints series, and um, I want to see how Mani's story, story uh, concludes. So uh, this is for the challenge of reading a book that you meant to read last year, which is I'm not sure when it came out and I probably wanted to finish it but obviously never got around to reading it and um, yeah those are basically the plans for today I would also like to film a video for well, actually tomorrow <laughs> so I should do that um, but yeah until um, I have something more to report I think this is gonna be it and I am just gonna enjoy 
the time outside right now because it's still not too hot and uh, I can actually go outside without sweating too much. So um, I'm going to go do that. Uh, I am listening to Murderbot or uh, Artificial Conditions and I have to say I love this Murderbot unit. Um, for those of you who do not know, Murderbot is um, it's basically sort of like an AI or augmented human, but more augmented that, well, I don't know exactly what it is, as I said. But it's usually, its function is to protect humans on missions and such. And um, in the first book, All Systems Red, we see that this murder bot is really, well, while it's sort of doing its job, it's also more interesting in watching TV shows and such. And I, I just love this character so much. And right now it's trying to find out whether or not something in its past has happened or not. And what that means, uh, whether it was a murder bot's fault or it was some other mistake. And I'm just loving it so much already. I, I will have to buy these books. I think there's like four novellas out right now. And I think I'll have to buy them. But the thing is, they're just so freaking expensive for such short books. And I just hate that. I don't know. One is like 15 euros. And like, why? <laughs> and it's so absurd. So, yeah. Uh, but I'm really liking it so far. And it's uh, sure making my uh, working hours uh, pass by a, a lot quicker. So I'm back on my balcony because, as it turns out, this is the only place we can live today because it is so humid. I'm actually dripping with sweat, which is I don't know, not attractive at all, but that, those are just facts. And I came out here and luckily there's some wind, slightly, and it makes it slightly more bearable to actually live today. So yeah, I have to say that I finished reading uh, Artificial Condition by Martha Wells, which is book two in the Murder Bot uh, series, and I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, the character of Murder Bot is just so fantastic, so enjoyable. It's uh, it's obviously a machine, and it's a lot more human than a lot of people are, actually. And it uh, keeps evolving as a character, and growing, and becoming, I guess, more human, in a way. Um, and in this one, it's trying to figure out whether uh, this event in its past that it was blamed for actually happened and who was to blame uh, and such. So, I mean, uh, since this is like a murder bot, uh, its function was to protect people. And that's obviously something that uh, the murder bot stumbles into again, even though that's not uh, his primary goal in this book. But yeah, uh, so I really enjoyed it. And... Uh, I also listened to a bit of Hero with the Fall by Alvin Hamilton. And, um, yeah, that one is just uh, basically taking place after the events of the th second book, at the end of the second book. And, um, you yeah, know, it's an adventure. So uh, I'm liking it. And I'm not wowed. But I think that if I had read it, I don't know, maybe like all of them together, all the books together as a trilogy. I don't know. I, I mean, or it's just me. I'm not enjoying why as much as I used to. Uh, what did I, what I wanted to say is that there's like, as I was reading the, the second book, actually, Traitor to the Throne, uh, there was a few things mentioned that you can also find in uh, City of Brass. So I'm thinking that well, since I'm very unfamiliar with um, Middle Eastern mythology, so I cannot say anything, but uh, some names appeared, and I think that probably both of the authors are sort of um, using some similar source materials um, for the stories. So yeah, um, but yeah, all in all, it's enjoyable. Um, the character of Amani is very proactive, and she's always <laughs> plotting and trying to figure out what to do. Doesn't always work out, of course, but you know, she does her hardest. 
And now I am finally able to sit down after hours um, and uh, try to, I'm, I'm going to try to enjoy this one. So this is uh, Lady Susan by Jane Austen and um, I'm going to try to get through as much as it, of it as I can. It's, it's really short so I should be able to read the whole thing but, uh, well I will read the whole thing if it holds my interest but if it doesn't then that's going to be a problem but yeah we will we'll see how this works out so today's friday and i finished filming a video it's going to be an august tbr video and there's just some of the books that i mentioned and it's already uploading but it's going to take a while because the internet connection here sort of sucks so <laughs> i have still quite a wait until that happens uh but while i do that i plan to continue reading uh, Lady Susan by Jane Austen. Yesterday I didn't make a lot of progress, maybe, maybe like 20 pages or so. So today I hope to finish it, obviously. And, you know, I don't have any other plans except for reading today, uh, at least from now on. So that should be fine. And then I'm not sure whether or not I should continue reading, uh, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Uh, because, you know, I still have ways to go there, but I'm liking it. Um, so I don't plan to like, just put it aside and never pick it up again but i would like to finish you know give myself a chance to finish a few more books during this readathon so i'm thinking that i should pick this one up the slow regard of silent things by patrick Rothfuss, which would also count for the same challenge as becky chambers because you know that uh, title that has more than five words uh this one <laughs> You know, one would think that this would be a quick read, but it's sort of annoying to read, at least it was when I started it so uh, a while back. Uh, but at least, you know, it's still short, so I could still push through and do that. I also have to listen to a bit of uh, Hero Had the Fall by Alien Hamilton. So, you know, I am like a quarter through, so still have ways to go. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I'm thinking that the majority of reading that I have left for this week is going to be done today and tomorrow and then on um, on Saturday I think that there will be virtually no reading done so I will then probably just wrap up this vlog and finish it uh, but yeah that's uh, an update for right now and talk to you later again So guess what guys, I am not reading, and <laughs> not at all, I just decided that I really wanted to finish watching Chernobyl, so that's what I'm doing. It's so freaking humid and hot, and I'm just a mess, and I'm barely alive here, uh, and I don't even feel like reading. It's just not happening right now. So um, I decided to finish the series, it's a very popular series right now. Uh, everybody's been talking about it and I decided a few days back that I wanted to check it out and see if I like it or not uh, and I like it enough that I want to see it through so uh, I was actually a kid when Chernobyl happened and um, I don't remember oh, <laughs> obviously I don't remember it but still uh, I know that my mother told me you know how we had to close all the windows and as children, we were not allowed to play out, outside in the kindergarten. So, um, yeah, that's basically all I knew about it until now. Uh, but, you know, now that the show is happening and I'm just really curious about it. So I assume that it's not really completely correct because it is a TV series. But, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that some information is correct. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing currently. Um, obviously, this means that I will not be even trying to finish as many books as I want. Uh, but, you know, I, I will at least try to attempt to finish two more, which is Lady Susan, obviously, that one's going to be done today. And I'm probably trying to finish listening to The Hero of the Fall and The Fall by Elvin Hamilton, so I can do that one. And I think that The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet will have to wait until September, actually, because I doubt it that I will have, have the time to squeeze it in during August. Although there's still some days left in July, so maybe I will, maybe. Although we're going to, uh, we're going on holidays next week, so I have already a TBR for that, and I'm really looking forward to those books. So, yeah, I think you'll have to wait. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, if it's waited this long, it's, you know, what's another month? So yeah, anyways, I'm going to go back to watching Chernobyl and finishing this monstrosity. And uh, then I will actually um, do some reading. I will be a good girl and do that. So today's, no, it's not Friday, it's Saturday. <laughs> and uh, I'm here back again. Um, I actually managed to make some progress yesterday. I finished reading uh, this little booklet, uh, Jane Austen's Lady Susan, and it was it was enjoyable. It's uh, Lady Susan is definitely a character that you don't usually see um, in literature that much. I mean, especially you don't imagine seeing one such as her in, in a Jane Austen novel, but she's really um, like a conniving little bitch, more or less. And she's very opportunistic, and she uh, serves her own interests and nobody else's, basically. So she's, it's sort of, Felt it, was, it felt like, we, like I was reading a gossip column or something like that uh, because nobody seems to like her but she seems to get her way a lot and uh, it, I really enjoyed it. I do want to see the movie um, one day <laughs> because I'm not sure where I'm going to find it. But yeah, uh, it was an enjoyable read and I'm really happy that I managed to finish it. Uh, so currently I'm focusing on this one here, right? The Fall by Elvin Hamilton. I have to say that I'm not really concentrating all that well while listening to it. So um, I'm sort of, you know, I get the gist what's going on, but I'm foggy on the details. I'll have to try harder, but I really don't want to go back because I'm like a third through the book and I really do not want to start over but basically what's going on is that uh, after the events of the second book Amani, it's up to Amani now to save the situation and do her best and prove herself that she's more than just you know a regular rebel uh, so that's what she's doing and she's um, struggling a bit because things are not really going her way uh, but yeah this is going to be my focus for today uh, hopefully I managed to finish it I mean I still have some ways to go, but hopefully I manage to finish it because tomorrow I honestly don't think that I will be doing any reading. Uh, we're going on holidays on Monday and I have to prepare for that. And I have a whole bunch of books for that uh, to take with me. And uh, we also have some other stuff to do. And, uh, I, you know, I'd also like to edit this vlog. And I know that, well, blah, blah, oh, why, why can't I speak? And I know that my vlogs tend to be somewhat boring and I'll do my best to rectify that in the future. But um, yeah, as I said, I'll try to edit this one tomorrow and upload it for Monday. Um, so yeah, this should be my priority for today. And hopefully I get at least a decent amount through so I can maybe then finish it tomorrow, basically. I also received a package and I'm pretty, well, I, I know what is in it, uh, but here we have it. Uh, and uh, last, well, no, not last month, again, this month, at the beginning of the month, I read The Calculating Stars by Mary Robin Coble and I really enjoyed it. So immediately I ordered the, the sequel and this should be it. Let me just let me get it out. Oh, nice. I like it. I want to take it on holidays with me, so I'm really happy that it arrived in time. Well, hmm. This is not going to be elegant at all, but here, yeah, you know. Oh, here it is. The Faded Sky. And this is, I think, the direct continuation. It takes place, I think, a few years later um, when things have progressed. And, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. It's it's not that big. It's not that short either. I think it's a similar size to the the calculating stars, and I really like this cover. I think you can tell it's a woman in the suit, and I think I can. <laughs> Anyways, so I, I really love the series, and I think the next one comes out. I don't know, 2020 or. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be this year. Although, I, I'm not even sure when this one came out. Was it this year or it was last year? Let's see if I can find the date. Turn that. 2018. So, okay. So, I guess it's going to be like 2020 then. But yeah, I'm really I'm really looking forward to this one. So, um, yeah, that's my update so far. And uh, I'll definitely talk to you later. So, today is Sunday. And it's the last day of the reading rush. And... I think that I will be concluding this vlog right now because honestly today I do not see myself reading anything more, at least not for the reading rush. Uh, I'm sort of done with it. Um, you know, I think that I could have done better, but 
Uh, I'm still very pleased with the outcome. I managed to finish four books. I completed four challenges and I also earned some additional badges, which I'm going to go through right now. Um, but yeah, yesterday um, I managed to finish this book and I... I liked it, but it's definitely not going to be my favorite series. I was uh, more optimistic about it, but yeah, I you know I just really will have to start being more careful about buying a YA fantasy or just YA books in general because I have just really well outgrown them, I guess, uh, which is ridiculous to say given that <laughs> I've been an adult for a while, but yeah. So I, I did used to enjoy them a bit more. I still have a few series uh, on my shelves that I would uh, definitely try to get, that I will definitely try to get through. But um, um, as to future buys, I'll have to be more careful, I guess. So yeah, uh, anyways, uh, just to get me, just to go through all the reading that I did this uh Week so firstly I'm gonna go basically through badges and that's how I'm gonna explain everything that I read or wrap this uh, thing up. So um, I earned a badge of uh, reader for 2019 just basically for participating in uh, the reading rush, which I'm very happy to have done because I love this readathon. Um, yeah, I just it, readathons really sort of force you or encourage you to read more than you would, obviously. And uh, I really like them. Uh, so the first book that I managed to finish was for the, uh, for the challenge of reading a book with purple on the cover. And for that, I read Traitor to the Throne by Alvin Hamilton, which is book two in the Rebel of the Sand series. And I enjoyed it. It was an okay read. And I think that, obviously, as I said, I would have enjoyed it um, a few years back. I would have enjoyed it a lot more. But these days, I uh, I guess I'm more picky, and I do prefer adult fantasy. So yeah. So then I earned a badge for reading a book in the same spot the whole time, which was this bed, uh, which is my usual reading spot. And anyways, uh, I read uh, Lady Susan by Jane Austen for that. It's a short little uh, book about this annoying woman that uh, I have tried reading before but never got around to actually finishing it and this time I made it and I, now I really want to watch the movie and hopefully I will find it somewhere so I can do that. Then I earned uh, a badge for reading a book um, that I meant to read last year and that was uh, this one, The Hero of the Fall, which was the last book in the Rebel of the Saints series and um, yeah, I mean, as I said previously, it's an okay series. Uh, I think that uh, people would enjoy it if they picked it up. But uh, I was sort of, you know, yeah, it's okay, but nothing special. Because I guess I'm just tired of why fantasy. As I mentioned a few times now in this video, which is annoying, I'm sure. So then I read a book with a non-human main character. And for that, I chose to go with Artificial Condition by Martha Wells, which is the second novel. Uh, it's not a novel, a uh, novella in the Murderbot series. And I think there's actually a full-length novel coming out in that. And I just enjoy the the, um, the character of Mur Murderbot. And uh, if you're into sci-fi, although this is, it's not really, I mean, yes, it deals with the topics that you would find in sci-fi, but it's not really, you know, that sci-fi-y. Uh, you can basically just read it and enjoy it, even if you don't like sci-fi. So yeah, I really enjoyed the character, and I, it was I just liked it a lot. Then uh, I those were all the challenges basically that I completed, and then I earned myself a badge for reading over a thousand pages, which was fantastic. I didn't think that I was going to make that, but apparently I did, and it's great. And I also earned myself a badge for making a reading rush video, which was my TBR, as well as this vlog is going to count for that as well. So. Yeah, those are basically all the stats uh, or the badges that I earned. So all in all, I read um, uh, 1,240 uh, pages. I finished four books, which is fantastic. I finished a series, which is good, which I do want to do that more. Like every month I would like to finish a series, although it's not going to happen each month. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a good feeling. Uh, but yeah, this is it for this year's Reading Rush. And until... Next year, uh, we are done with it, and I have to say, I really enjoyed myself, and um, yeah, I cannot wait for next year. So, uh, this is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you in my next one. Bye.